So at this time, I would like to call the, the lady who has taken, held, and hold the position of president of Pan Trinbago, has done a tremendous work since assuming office, and we appreciate her efforts, and of course, she's coming to bring greetings. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mrs. Beverly Ramsey Moore, president of Pan Trinbago. Thank you, thank you very much, Master of Ceremonies. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Trinidad and Tobago. Come on this side. Come on this side. Let me acknowledge. Go on the other side, yes. Let me at this time acknowledge Senator the Honorable Randall Mitchell Ministry, Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Arts and as we like to say the affable Randall Mitchell. <laughs> members of Parliament and in particular members of the Cabinet were here with us this evening members of the Diplomatic Corps, Chairman Chinua Allen of East Port of Spain Development Company Limited, Auntie Joan, Auntie Joan, Auntie Joan Yule Williams. Let us recognize Auntie Joan. She was with me for the entire morning behind the bridge. The Honorable Keith Scotland, Member of Parliament for Port of Spain South. Steel pan enthusiasts of Trinidad and Tobago, where are you? I am not going to read a speech today. I stand here, and let me not forget my chairman, my chairman, my loving chairman of the National Carnival Commission, my good friend, Winston Gypsy Peters. Today is a very emotional day for me. So I want to recognize at this time See how they're looking sweet? Members of the Central Executive of Pan Trinbago and members of the Regional Executive of Pan Trinbago. These hard-working officers. I stand here this evening as the granddaughter of the captain of a biscuit drum band in Tobago called Wake Island Biscuit Drum Band. May God rest his soul. I stand here this evening as the daughter of a founding member of the oldest playing steel band on the island of Tobago, Katz and Jama Steel Orchestra. And I want you to take note that I was born in the month of November, which means that I am a carnival baby, a steel pan baby. And so I have a fire and a passion in my soul. When I think of our forefathers and when I think of our ancestors, those who paved the way for us, Ladies and gentlemen, today is a monumental day in the history of Steel Pan on the island of Trinidad and Tobago. And so we pay laudation 
and we thank all those who were involved in the struggle. Those of you who came from behind the bridge, those of you who were called the outcast of society, because you know the bridge was the demarcation point between the rich and the poor. And yet, the story is told of that man called Winston Spree Simon, who lent one of his friends his drum. And eventually, when the friend came back with his old drum, he recognized that there was a new sound. Something sounded like music, my brothers and sisters. And from that day, it is said that we accidentally bounced upon that beautiful song. And so we want to say thanks to people. May God rest their souls, like Ellie Manette. We want to say thanks to Anthony Williams. We want to say thanks to Bertie Marshall. We want to say thank you, Neville Jules. We want to say thank you to all those who went before us that has followed Pan and has taken it from that old rusty drum to the beautiful chrome instrument that it is today and that we can say that it is Trinidad and Tobago's gift to the world. And so, as I stand in the People's Parliament, a place with a lot of history, a place, my friends, and I just, you know, I'm getting emotional. You know, I said to my executive, we are coming right here, the stumping ground of our former Prime Minister, Dr. Eric Williams. We are coming home to his place, the University of Woodford Square, the People's Parliament. We are coming here to celebrate that which God gave to us. Because Dr. Eric Williams played a very important role in the evolution in the early 50s, 1950s, he called on pan men and women to settle down. And he asked to form an association. And that association was formed. And the leader of that association was none other than Mr. Sidney Gallup. And they came together and they held several meetings. And Dr. Eric Williams then called on Corporate Trinidad and Tobago to get involved in the steel band business. And as they embraced the steel bands with sponsorship, bands started to settle down. Because as my father said, Texaco gave them blazers and dressed them up. And so they were now performing in these engagements and then there was the social acceptance of our people and of our musical instrument. And so my friends, cutting a long story short, let me say thank you to the Honorable Prime Minister, our wee boy from Tobago, who has embraced me since I've became president of Pan Trinbago, he made a statement to me when I was elected. I wouldn't say what he told me, but whatever he told me, I said, Prime Minister, on this new journey, as we are about to chart a positive way forward for Pan, as we are about to restore credibility to the Steel Pan organization, as we are about to rebuild and rebrand 
you have to help me because Pan Trinbago is a very important organization to Trinidad and Tobago. To the world, because it is the world governing body of the steel pan. And so now, Prime Minister, I say thank you. Thank you to the Cabinet of Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you to Dr. Amory Brown and his ministry. Thank you, Minister Randall Mitchell, and your ministry, your permanent secretary, Simone Thorne Mora Kinones, and her staff for joining with us and working to ensure that a day like this was accomplished. In our presence this evening, we have a gentleman, the gentleman who came up with the idea for a World Day for Pan. He has flown in all the way from London. A man from behind the bridge, Smith Place behind the bridge, Mr. Justin J. Thomas, are you here? Can you stand and be recognized? Justin, he's across there. He is the man who said that the 11 represents two pan sticks, and the eight, it's the circle of pan. And in Pan Trinbago, we said the 11, two pan six, it is the sticks of peace and prosperity, and the two circles that form the eight is the circle of love. And so this evening, my dear friends, Pan Trinbago continues to partner and before I take my seat, I want to ask the representative from Digicel to come forward. Because PAN is more than music in the PAN yard. PAN is about education. PAN is about business. And as the world has now embraced us, ladies and gentlemen, opportunities are now, much more opportunities are cre created for our manufacturers and for those who provide the service like our tuners, our arrangers, our musicians, we will export our talent, we will e ensure that foreign exchange flow in this country through festival tourism. Visit Trinidad, are you here? We are going to work together with you to ensure that Trinidad and Tobago benefits. Miss Penny Gomez, I want you to come at this time and I want you to share with them the plans just in for a few moments, few minutes, what we are doing together as we partner with Digicel. That's right, we are together in this. Good evening, everyone. It is truly a joy to be here celebrating this proud moment among so many pan lovers. In proclaiming today as World Steel Pan Day, the UN has acknowledged what we in Trinidad have known for years, that the pan has transformational power. On this significant day, when our national instrument finally has a spotlight it deserves, the Digicel Foundation is elated to announce a partnership with Pan Trinbago. Together, we are commemorating this first World Steel Pan Day in a special way by rolling out the Digicel Foundation's technology and education program in pan yards across Otwinile with an investment to the tune of over just a half million TT dollars. Last year, the foundation opened four technology and education centers across Trinidad and Tobago. One of those is at the Tobago Panthers Pan Theater, which has proven to be transformational space for at youth risk, for risk, for at risk youth, sorry. Young people are no longer coming in and just to play and listen to Pan. They are also taking advantage of various resources and after school programs offered at the centers. Therefore, as part of our ongoing mission to close the digital divide in this country, we are pleased to announce four new technology centers selected by the Pan Trinbago executives. This evening, they are Cats and Jammers Steel Orchestra Tobago, Curep right, Steel Orchestra, NGC Coover Joy Landers, and Harlem Syncopators, Steel Orchestra from the North. Now, there's a surprise even for Pan Trinbago this evening. They don't know about it. But as we celebrate the union of culture and corporate, 
we invite all registered steel bands operating in Trinidad and Tobago to apply to us for the further funding of an additional four technology in education centers. <laughs> yes. So definitely like the one in Tobago Panthers, we're going to make sure that you have your computers, your printers, furniture, and we will do upgrades to the infrastructure. Thank you for allowing us to partner with you. Mr. Master of Ceremonies, as I'm about to take my seat, I want you to allow me to present our line minister to speak. Randall Mitchell, a friend of the steel pan community. Just give him a big round of applause. Thank you to the cabinet of Trinidad and Tobago. The cabinet that gave me the opportunity to sit in the General Assembly of the United Nations and to listen to the minister, our minister, present before the House in eloquent style filled with passion, with the fire in his belly, and the greatness that he's accustomed talking all about. You know, you're accustomed going and saying, great, great, great. We, we, yes, we understand that that is true. You are extremely great because we are also speaking greatness in Pantry and Bagel. Minister Mitchell, I want you to join me. I want you to join me. You have to bring a speech. <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago. Prime Minister, we thank you for this minister. Trinidad and Tobago, I want you to give a resounding round of applause to none other than our line minister, the Honorable Randall Mitchell. Thank you very much. That song like a, a political speech there, Beverly. But permit me to say, great is the PNM. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from behind the bridge to the world stage. Ladies and gentlemen of Woodford Square, Steel Pan Movement, people of Trinidad and Tobago. Today is a historic moment. A moment that we must pause and reflect on the past. And today is a moment that we must celebrate the present. And today is also a moment we must focus on the future and continuing the development of Pan. For me, it has been an absolute honor to be given the privilege to contribute to Steel Pan and to the Steel Pan Movement and to present to the UN a resolution to declare World Steel Pan Day. And I had no idea when given the responsibility for this portfolio that I would so quickly fall in love with the steel pan and the steel pan movement. And today, for all of us who love this instrument, we must reflect on those who have paved the way for us today, paved the way with their resilience and their resourcefulness, and those who have paved the way with their persistence and their unrelenting pursuit of excellence. Today we say to those who paved the way, we say thank you. Today we also pause to celebrate what the steel pan has been able to achieve for us at the individual level, for us at the community level, and for us in our collective society. 
We celebrate that the steel pan is not just the melodious, versatile, and beautiful instrument that we know it to be, but it is also an instrument that promotes intercultural understanding and is emblematic of community empowerment, self-determination, heritage, identity, and national pride. Today, we celebrate the steel pan as Trinidad and Tobago's symbol of excellence. So on this day, we celebrate World Steel Pan Day here in the capital city, and we also celebrate World Steel Pan Day in Times Square. But we look forward to future celebrations of this day. I can announce that in 2024, the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, in collaboration with Pan Trinbago and its other stakeholders, will prepare early for a festival of steel to be celebrated around Steel Pan Day in 2024, which will, as we foresee, incorporate a convention of steel pan, where we bring people from all over the world who are interested in steel pan to discuss the future of steel pan, the tuning, the education, the trade in steel pan. And of course, we will celebrate in all our pan yards and in all our performing spaces. We also look forward during the year to get our young people more involved. And you have heard education with pan in schools, thank you to the Digital Foundation, and so on. So ladies and gentlemen, I wish to thank all of those who started this journey and those who continue it. I thank, of course, the Honorable Prime Minister and the Cabinet for pushing us towards this opportunity. And last but not least, I thank you, the Steel Pan Movement and Pan Trinbago for accepting me and for allowing me to walk with you side by side along this journey. Ladies and gentlemen, today I call upon all citizens and all the diaspora to get involved in the pan movement, to get involved in pushing the steel pan globally. The pan is our symbol of excellence, and the pan we have developed will also, in the future, continue to develop us. So with those few words, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and a happy World Steel Pan Day. Thank you very much, the Honorable Minister of Tourism, Culture, and the Arts, Randall Mitchell, ladies and gentlemen. So we got to continue, of course, with the celebration. We thank God for good weather. And also, uh, an event of this magnitude will not be possible without some very important people. So let's acknowledge our kind sponsors. Tourism Trinidad Limited, Visit Trinidad. Eastport of Spain Development Company Limited, of course, NGC, National Gas Company. Republic Bank Limited and NLCB. At this time, we have a celebration in dance. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Northwest Laventil Dancers. So this is the last item, and then after that, we're going to have the steel pan. So have no fear.
Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Northwest Love Until Dancers. Yes, happy World Steel Pan Day, ladies and gentlemen.